Hello friends, my name is Shantinath and today we will discuss about a very important topic called single acting cylinder. So this is the figure of single acting cylinder and the left end of the cylinder is called as a blind end and the right end of the cylinder is called as a rod end. Now let us start with the definition of single acting cylinder. That is in single acting cylinder, the flow of working fluid takes place into the cylinder on only one side that is at the blind end that is the flow of working fluid will not take place at the both the ends it will take place on only one side of the cylinder so this is the definition of single acting cylinder coming to the construction and working of the single acting cylinder it consists of cylinder body this outer portion is called a cylinder body and this is called as a piston and this is called as piston rod or simply rod so this is called as spring or a built-in elastic type of compression spring it is mounted on the circumference of the piston rod okay as you guys know that the left end of the cylinder is called as blind end and the right end of the cylinder is called as rod end okay the fluid is supplied into the system or the fluid is supplied into the cylinder at blind end and the piston rod is open to the atmosphere at the rod end and we will discuss about this single acting cylinder in two cases that is case one during extension that is a forward direction and case two during a retraction that is a reverse direction okay let us discuss about case one during extension or that is forward direction okay what happens is the fluid is supplied into the cylinder with some pressure then the fluid fills the complete empty area of the blind end of the cylinder as shown in the figure okay when the fluid fills the complete area then there will be a pressure of the fluid on the piston as shown with the red arrow mark okay Due to this fluid pressure forces the piston towards the right side or the rod end. Now let us discuss about case 2 that is during retraction or return movement or reverse direction. Okay. Now the piston is at the rod end and the return movement of the piston from rod end to the blind end is because, because of some gravity or a built in spring provided around the circumference of the piston rod I shown in the figure okay the return movement will be uh, faster than the forward movement because the piston is coming back to its start position or uh, original position without any load or a force it is coming back because of some gravity or a spring is provided for this return movement okay so during this process some amount of exhaust air is expelled out through this drain hole and this process repeats okay this type of single acting cylinders are used for cutting lifting clamping and pressing operations okay hope you all understood everything about the single acting cylinder thank you mm -hmm.